What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So two stocks I want to talk to you guys about today, NKLA and Apple. Two stocks we traded today in the market. Um, NKLA had a little bit more strength. We'll talk about that. Apple started with some strength, moved with some weakness, and then it came back with some vengeance after the market basically just ripped faces off. So that being said, let's get into it, right? So NKLA, this is a stock that everyone's been talking about recently because of the electric car vehicle market. And then you got the other stock, WKHS, that's been running because, again, of the electric car vehicle market industry hyping up. That being said, if you just looked at the stock on Friday kind of as it closed and then after hours trading, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of volume here and then it just kind of squeezed out, right? So after seeing that big move up, that to me gave me the idea that this probably had a little bit of momentum to the upside. You can see how vicious it moved there alone, right? So that being said, today at one point we see an opportunity for a trade. Now, it wasn't a really great trade. It wasn't a monster trade, but it was a simple, easy trade, kind of flag break um, that if you recognize the strength, wouldn't have been too hard to get in on. So Pretty much what we did is started with the 500 share scalp. So went in long 500, took most of it off on a quick, easy scalp. At So we got in 500 long here at um, 68.59. Sold 200 at 68.75, sold another 200 at 68.71, held 100 shares, sold 75 at 69.59, and then sold another 25 there at 69.65. And as you can see, we still ran up, came up a little bit more throughout the day. But in the moment in time, I was basically ending my trading day around here. I will normally get off around 10, 30, 11, stop trading. So I was happy with the move there. And it netted a nice $124. So right now it was a whole NKLA, WKAHS, Tesla. I mean, those stocks have really got this hype, this momentum, this idea that they're going to become the future because of the car making uh, industry. So keep them on watch. They're definitely interesting and it definitely had some great volatility throughout the past weeks to, to trade on. So that was our trade there with NKLA, okay? Another trade we made here was with Apple. So Apple first trade um, started with the loss was a little bit too early. And then following trade was really good. Um, nonetheless, it turned into a long because the market ended up coming back with vengeance. If in the event the market kept rolling over, we would have kept going down. But the market's already had a couple big down days. We're off to a little bit of a bounce day. So it's really not surprising. So let's go into this. All right, get the trades back on. We ended the day here $344 green on Apple. So first trade was a little bit smaller. So we started with 100 shares on this candle. Um, and then I think I shorted another 100 shares as we started to get weakness. So if any of you guys watch the opening bell of today's market, you would notice that the first couple of candles on the S&P 500 were down. Um, and I believe so on the NASDAQ, right? So when that typically happens, we'll usually see weakness evolve into many of these other stocks in the market. We started to get that. Apple started to go lower on some weakness. But ultimately, I could see that the buying was still stronger. So I ended up closing out that trade for a loss of about 114 bucks. So we went short just shy of the first standard deviation on the day as we tried to roll down. Didn't work. We covered for a $100 loss. Well, I was right, but I was just too soon to start. As the markets peaked up higher into resistance here, I ended up going short again, but this time 300 shares as we started to roll over. So in short, 200 at 355 and 100 shares at 355.85. So we ride this down, take off 200 shares at 354.75, another 50 shares at 353.89, another 25 shares at 352. And then we let this kind of bounce back up on us quite a bit um, to the point where we're like, okay, clearly the market's on a recovery here. It's just too strong. Let's just take off Apple because we're not going to make any more money from that. We're just going to keep losing. And sure enough, you can see that the markets ended up going on a tear and we would have just ended up giving back more and more money throughout the day on that play. So nonetheless, good day. We weren't in the overall direction for the market for the whole day, but we were in the direction of the market for at least a time period, which allowed us to uh, net a good profit today. So I hope you guys liked the video. I guys hope you learned something new from these trades. Um, as always, everybody take care and I'll see you guys on the next video.